In debates about religion, people will sometimes raise the question, well, even if all religions are false, what's the harm in them? Why does it matter what other people believe? It's not a bad question. In order to live in a society, we have to deal with the fact that other people think differently from us, and we have to learn to get along with each other. The problem is, religious beliefs can and do cause harm if they are false. Now, in my experience, going through specific examples of religious beliefs causing harm inevitably devolves into a game of point scoring that neither side can actually win. So, rather than doing that, rather than going case by case, I'd like to answer this question in broad, general terms. Fundamentally, the harm is this. At a basic level, every one of us is trying to navigate reality, both in terms of the external world and in terms of our internal thought processes. We are constantly asking ourselves something roughly akin to, okay, given the way in which I think the world works, and given the way in which I think my mind and my desires work, what can I do to create the outcome that I want? The problem is that if your map of reality is not accurate, if your model of how the world works is false, then you will not be able to achieve the outcomes you desire because you're playing by the wrong rules, and you are very likely, though perhaps not guaranteed, to cause harm to yourself and others as a result. For example, if fundamentalist Islam is not true, and if people do not go to paradise or hell after they die, if this is not how the world actually works, then it's pretty clear that suicide bombings and honor killings and genital mutilation are horrific deeds which create nothing but pain and suffering for a beneficial outcome that will never manifest, no matter how many people you decapitate. Even religious moderates can cause harm if their beliefs are false. Mistakenly believing that some kind of supernatural safety net will be there for them, or for other people, worrying about the social approval of a non-existent father figure, and, perhaps more characteristic of the United States, diagnosing serious medical conditions as nothing more than spiritual deficiencies, and, most notably, advocating against things that would actually benefit people here on Earth, if indeed this Earth is all there is gay marriage, assisted suicide, contraception, etc. If all religions are false, then sharing the world with religious people is kind of like if you were to sit down to play a game of Monopoly with someone, but that person insists that they have special revelation of the true rules. Rules which don't actually make a lot of sense given the game pieces that you see in front of you. Actually, we're supposed to hide our money under the board, even though this prevents us from knowing how much money we have. Trust me, it'll make sense in 20 years. Alright, maybe you can't see it, but my invisible game piece rolled onto Boardwalk, so now I get to take it from you because you don't have a hotel on it. Don't worry, you'll get it back after you die. Great, now I have to swallow five plastic houses and a spoonful of my grandmother's ashes if I want to get out of jail. Here goes. If all religions are false, then the harm is that, well, you could say, you're going on a road trip, but you're using a map that shows the terrain of a completely different planet. You're cooking a meal, but all the labels on the ingredients are wrong. You're, well, congregating in close quarters during a deadly pandemic because you think your god will protect you. I apologize for having to cite a specific example after all, it just helps to explain my overall point. My point is that beliefs matter, because beliefs inform our internal map of reality, which, in turn, guides our decisions. If we have the wrong map, then we will make decisions whose consequences are not what we wanted, and we may not even be aware that these consequences are happening at all. If all religions are false, then the harm is that these religions cause well-intentioned people to do things that are absurd and potentially horrific, both to themselves and to those around them. If your map of reality is wrong, then your actions will be wrong as well. Garbage in, garbage out. Beliefs have consequences. Beliefs matter.